Witnessing cardiac arrest can be a frightening experience, but knowing what to do can save someone's life. Reporter Jennifer Murillo shows us how easy it was for El Segundo residents to learn this life-saving skill. We're here at the 16th Annual Super CPR Saturday, where residents came to learn what they can do in an emergency situation. on CPR training gave this group the knowledge on how to react to someone in need of help. CPR helps in this manner in that it continues to circulate oxygenated blood from the heart, the lungs, to the brain and the other vital organs. The CPR training had three sessions throughout the Saturday that certified more than 300 attendees with step-by-step -step instructions. Each participant does their registration and sign-in. We do a short 10-15 uh, minute orientation, then they watch an instructional video about CPR, and then we take them into a workstation, and then they follow along with an instructor and guide, and participate in doing the new CPR event and um, the new instruction, and they practice several rounds, and then they're issued a certificate. It was a great class, it was really clear, we practiced enough, the test was really straightforward. The short test wrapped up the two-hour training session, and those who passed got their two-year certification card. You uh, learn how to actually save someone's life, potentially, and so I got my card. Super CPR Saturday not only taught attendees indispensable skills, but the importance for community members to know CPR. Just having that knowledge and practice will help you through that, and so you'll know, you know, you'll have that basic instinct to call 911 at least. The community support for the Super CPR Saturday is a, a wonderful event and I don't see it going away. I think it offers so much to the community um, as far as the life-saving efforts. Charles Chase Ford of CalMed Ambulance gave us a demonstration of the key points to the compression. If you have an, a person next to you, you would want to have them come in and, and continue on, on the second five cycles. About how deep should we go? You want to depress um, a minimum of two inches deep because what you've done is when you breathe into the victim, you've oxygenated their blood. What you do when you compress onto the heart is you distribute that oxygenated blood into the brain, into the heart, into the brain, into the heart, keeping this individual alive. Okay. And so that, that's pretty much what, what, what you do. Okay? And you don't stop CPR until you have adequate breathing, adequate circulation, or someone just came, a paramedic or someone uh, advanced care has come and interrupted you and taken over where you, where you left off. And that's basically CPR in a nutshell. During the class, instructors also gave a demonstration and taught attendees how to perform the abdominal thrust method and choking technique. I've actually had an opportunity to use the choking method twice in my life, and um, it works. It works really well. Being able to perform CPR not only helps the professionals before they arrive on scene, but ultimately can save a life. Reporting for El Segundo TV, I'm Jennifer Murillo.